Today's Christmas Spot, we'll be having a look at the McFarland Toys Twisted Christmas. We're looking today at Reindeer Rudy. Or, I guess really it's Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, but it's without the glowing nose. The only thing red it seems on him is uh, perhaps the elf's blood. Up at the top there, we've got a picture of a reindeer drawn by Todd McFarlane himself. Looks very nice. I like that. Uh, on the side, Reindeer Rudy. On the back of the package, it says, Can you recall your most favorite reindeer of all? <laughs> Is it this guy? Probably not. <laughs> Love it. It says, inside the decadently distorted mind of Todd McFarlane, that's a hard word to say, the holidays take an entirely different twist. Forget the warmth of Christmas past, McFarlane's twisted Christmas transforms the characters you thought you knew, and the results are undeniably wicked. Other figures that you can get in this series of twisted Christmas figures, we got Santa Claus, Mrs. Claus, Snowman, Jack Frost, and finally, Santa's Little Helper. Uh, really, this is the one I really wanted to get opened up. I, you know, the other ones looked really, really neat, but I thought this guy looked really cool. Looking forward to getting this guy opened up, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take myself a small break. I'm going to get this out of package, and we're going to have ourselves a look at Ru uh, Reindeer Rudy, or Rudolph. Stay tuned, guys. There is more on the way. Don't go anywhere. As with Mrs. Claus, Rudy Reindeer uh, involves a little bit of assembly when you get him out of package. Uh, the only thing you have to take, put on him when you get him out is actually his antlers. And uh, I think he looks, he looks really, really cool. Um, I have one issue and it's, well, I have two issues, but they're not, they're not huge, huge issues. I think overall the figure works really, really well. He does come with a display stand, a snowy display stand, very similar to the other stands that we've gotten um, down below. You know what, I'll put Rudy down for a second here. Down below on the stand here, you'll see a skull. Now it's either been stomped on, perhaps while it was still alive, who knows, or the individual who owned this will, was still alive. Uh, or uh, Reindeer, or Rudy here, um, got to some brain eating and he basically devoured this poor, this poor, poor guy. This, put, per, put, uh, this could perhaps also be an elf skull. Who knows? Who really knows? But I think it looks very cool. And putting that aside... Let's have a look at actually Rudy. Um, he has an open mouth, and I don't know if I like that all that much. Um, I think his head is is fantastic. He's got these really decayed gums with these really sharp, bloodied teeth. And I think it looks really, really nice. Uh, but then all of a sudden it gets a little weird here. And I p well, would have almost preferred if the mouth had maybe stopped here and, and had been open, like right around where the tongue is. Um, he's got this very exaggerated open mouth. Um, it, it's almost a little too much. You know, I see where they're going with it, but I don't know. It could have worked a little bit better if the mouth was just half of that um, instead of as, a, as exaggerated as it was. Um, but Rudy excels very much in the sculpt of the figure. One thing I like is the fact that he's got his his harness wrapped around his head here, wrapped around the sides, and we've got the sleigh bells. Um, it doesn't look, you could probably remove it. I wouldn't advise it though, because they're probably uh, glued to the actual figure, so I wouldn't really advise taking them off. Um, he also has, now I, this looks like it's hair. It looks like he's got braided hair. And that's very, very cool. He's got some beads going on there. Um, I also like the fact that he's got Christmas lights wrapped all around his legs. He's got much larger ones on the side here, a little smaller ones here, some on his arms as well. Perhaps he's uh, invaded a few households that uh, 
via roof. I don't know. Um, but the paint works really, really well on this particular figure. Uh, the fur especially, I think, is really top-notch. And the paint is done really, really well. He's also got himself uh, a skull there down at the bottom, which I like too. And he's also got not only the harness, but it looks like he's also got, uh, you know, something around his, his antlers here too. Again, more jingle bells, sleigh bells. His antlers are also very nice. And I, when I was putting it together, I almost put them on the wrong way. It seems to be a tradition here that I always put things on the wrong way. Um, but the antlers, I think, look really, really nice. He's got some rings going on there. Now, Rudy does come with a weapon. He comes with this giant axe. Extremely large axe. I was almost surprised that there was no blood on the axe. But really, there was no blood on uh, Santa either, so... I guess even though this is Twisted Christmas, uh, McFarlane opted not to put the blood or anything on these. Um, most, uh, very similar to actually most of the McFarlane weapons that come with figures. Uh, the bottom of these, the axe actually comes off. So you don't actually have to sandwich it around through his fingers, you actually just slide it through his fingers, like so. And then you just take the other end and just peg it into place. Now unfortunately, he doesn't hold it very well. In fact, you can see it, it sits really loose in his hand. Um, you would almost expect it to be a tighter fit for the fact that he... Uh, you know the fact that you have to peg the the uh, the, the axe into place, the bottom of the axe at least. Uh, what you could probably do is take the axe and reverse it. It probably won't fit though. I'm just going to double check here. You know what? It might not fit. I was thinking you could maybe attach it the other way and have him holding it with the other end of his hand, the other hand. But uh, it looks like that's not the case either. So. Yeah, it just turns out that it's a really loose weapon. It's a loose weapon in his hands, which is uh, is a bit of a shame. We'll just put it in his hand, though. He's very imposing. He is definitely very imposing. I pity the poor elf that has to care for this guy, especially with this really large axe. He could be coming into the elf home, I guess, as it were, and he could say, hey, I got poop in my stall. Who's cleaning it up? <laughs> and all the elves would be running to the door. Um, I guess the axe sits pretty well if you got it sandwiched against the leg like I've got here. Um, he looks really, really nice. He's pre-sculpted, as you can see. The back of his leg is bent um, to f accommodate the base. Um, he, is, he does suffer from the fact that he is pre-posed, but... You know, you're displaying these more not to play with them, but really just for, for uh, you know, just as, as statues, essentially. Um, but he does have some articulation. There doesn't seem to be any in the head for obvious reasons that this all one solid piece is just a, a sculpt. Um, there is articulation in these shoulders, but much like, very, uh, much like the other McFarlane toys, really, really stiff. And it seems as if you can only bend his arm back as opposed to being able to move it any further. I, it seems to butt right at this point, and you can't seem to move it any further. Um, he has a swivel in the arm, uh, right here. Swivel also on the other side as well. And he's got the, oh, there goes the bottom of the axe. He has the swivel in the bottom legs as well. Uh, you can't really do too much because you start moving them too out of place, and you've got a point where the leg starts looking like it separates from the rest of the body. Uh, overall, I mean, this is, it's still a really neat figure. It suffers from few hits here and misses here and there. Um, but uh, overall, he's really nice. And uh, I think he complements well. He complements well the other figures that make up the Twisted Christmas. The other drawback I have is the fact that he kind of sits leaning forward. Um, you can kind of adjust it here and there to get the figure to stand a little bit better. But it's still a bit, you know, he, he still hunches over a little bit. But I guess it really adds to it, 
In fact, he's got this axe. He's going elf hunting. Um, but uh, he's a good figure. Now that I've got, got him opened up, he's probably not as solid as what I had hoped he would have been. I think Rudy Reindeer here I'm going to give a 6.52. Good sculpt, but uh, he's got a few misses here and there. Today's Christmas spot, we're having a look at the McFarlane Toys Twisted Christmas. We're looking at Rudy Reindeer. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more Christmas spots to come, and I will see you guys next time. Eh.